hello guys welcome to another session in this session we are going to look into refs so let's jump into the visual studio code to understand this concept so so far we have discussed about react and we all know that react provides us the virtual dom and we use the jsx to manipulate the virtual dom and behind the scene the virtual dom updates the actual dom now in certain scenarios we require to access the node of the actual dom so how we can access that so here refs concept comes into picture. So refs provides us a mechanism by which we can directly access the DOM nodes. So let's do an example to understand that how we can use refs. So as usual, I'm going to create a component and to create the component, I'm going to create a folder over here and we will call it as ref demo. And within that, I'm going to create a file ref demo.js. And over here, we will use snippet to create the class component that is RCE into. So this will give us the boilerplate code for the class component. And within this JSX, I'm going to insert the input element. So let me input that. And over here, I will provide that it is going to be the text text and let's add this component to the app component so let's do it so over here we need to specify ref demo and once you into then it will automatically insert the reference of the component because we are using the auto import so let's close it let's look into the output what output we are getting then you will find that we are getting an input box over here so now let's create a reference of the dom node with the help of reps so let's go to the visual studio code so to make this example more meaningful what i will do i will do an exercise where whenever this page gets loaded you will get the focus of the cursor over here and it will blink like that and that we will achieve through the on focus method of the dom element after getting the reference of this input element directly within the dom node so let's do it so how we can get the reference of this input that means dom element reference for this particular element so to do that we need to create a constructor so how we will create the constructor there is a snippet available we can use our const and within that i am going to create refs with the help of create react ref so let's do it so we will going to tell that this i box input box that means and here i am telling that react dot create ref so this method we are going to use to create the reference for this particular input box which we will associate over here with the help of refs keyword and that will give us the dom node reference of this particular element so once it is being created now the next step we need to associate this i box ref into this input element so let's bind this so how we can bind it we need to tell that ref this is a reserved keyword attribute and over here we need to specify this dot i box so now it is being binded so now let's verify that what this object contains so to verify it i am going to use a method called component did mount which we have already seen it is a life cycle method and within that we will console log it console log and we will print this dot i box and we will look into what it is returning and verify that what the thing it contains so let's look into that so let's jump into the browser now let's go to the console by pressing f12 and over here you will find that it has logged an object and you within that you will find that it is referring to the current input so if you look into that then you will find that dom node properties which you want to use so i am going to use focus method of this input element so now to put the cursor in this input box i am going to perform next step in our program so let's do it so this time i am going to tell that this dot i box input box dot current it is returning current object and i am going to use the focus method now save it and now let's look into the output so let's close this one and refresh the page and you will find that the cursor is blinking and this is what we wanted to achieve one thing i wanted to mention over here the focus method is part of dom node so now let's proceed further and create a button and when we click on the button whatever we will write over here and we will click on button it will alert us with the same message so let's jump into the visual studio code as we are getting directly the reference of the dom node so what we will do we will grab that reference and grab the value first let's grab the value and we will tell that 
so to grab it what we will do we will create a method over here get value and this is going to be the arrow function and we are going to tell that get value equal to arrow operator and the body of the function and here we will write alert and within the alert we will specify this dot i box dot current as it is a dom element so we can directly access the value property so we will write value over here and then we will insert a button over here and we will call this method so we will tell that button and within here we will tell that get value and here we will specify on click equal to and we will specify over here this dot get value now save it let's jump into the browser to see the output so let's write something let's learn react step by step get value and see that we are getting the values return whatever the value which we have inputted into the input box it is alerting us with the same message press ok so let's proceed further so now we have seen that how to get reference of the dom element using reps using ref and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session see in the next session till then bye bye take care